Hello guys, good evening, good evening. You are welcome to another time of prayer and I, I believe so strongly in my spirit that it's going to be an awesome time in God's presence. Earlier today, I stumbled on Apostle Joshua Simon's birthday broadcast and you know, while I listened, um, 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 Reverend Sam Oye was there and he was called upon to pray and while he prayed, he mentioned or he prayed with a scripture and you know, immediately that scripture came up you know there was an a witness in my spirit um that this is the scripture we are going to pray with tonight and i trust that you know it's going to bless you i went back and i looked through the scripture and i saw some things you know that by the grace of god um we are going to be sharing and then we are going to be praying with those things so i just want you to um tune your spirit you know this is going to be a powerful time in god's presence there's the the presence of the lord is here strongly the 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 there is a where two or three are gathered in my name he said i am there in their midst so we know of um a surety that god is present in this place god is present in this place he's not bound by space he's not bound by time so he's not he's, he's not um bound he's not limited you know by physical gathering you so you can be where you are and i'm where i am and then god is still made manifest he said in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth so even before god created space he was existent he was in existence even before he created space so he's not bound by space he's not bound by time before he created time he has been there so time does not is not uh uh, uh is not binding on god space is not binding on god matter is not binding on god he is he has dominion over this entity so wherever you are god is going to be rich you so i want you to begin to worship god tonight we are in god's presence begin to extol his name there is none like him he says bless the lord oh my soul bless the lord all that is within me bless the name of the lord he says he's the one that has redeemed us he's the one you know that has that has um forgiven us our iniquities um oh he has taken care of our infirmities uh. can we say lord we thank you we bless your name tonight we have gathered in your presence he said oh Jekadabaha, we have come upon man zion the city of the living god we have come to god who is the judge of all flesh we have come to the the the, the spirits of just men made perfect we have come to the innumerable company of angels we have come to you know to partake in the interactions upon man zion we have come to jesus who is the mediator of the new covenant we have come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We have come, we have come to the one who is our righteous judge. He is the judge of all and he is our father. We have come to our father and the judge. We have come to the Lord and our savior. Oh, our friend, a very present help in time of need in times of trouble god is a present helper can we say lord we thank you we thank you for the deliverances you brought our way oh we were down in the pit and he rescued us oh we were stuck in the mary clear but he rescued us and set us among princes even the princes of his people he set the table before us even in the presence of our, of our, of our enemies he has anointed our head with oil our cup runs over can we say lord we thank you for your goodness for your mercies Reprenda mama maha, oh jana mama dene nonza ni mana kaya do shabaram dele bele tieka ele mene kaya balana si eno kabalana te. There is no one like you, Jesus. Ha, there is no one like you, Jesus. Ha, mara ne shara de kabalani e zana na man dene ni aza i mene ke zani ande ne te mara gade jalata ya ete mena muni aza ne maram dene te yana. No one else like you are. No one else like you are. You reign, you reign, oh, son of man, is a balataya. 
Ekaminane shalataya Elohim yuren ha elemene shagadamina ta ha imele te zamana maneka yana nama mati yane ha yuren yuren mostaya yuren yuren abba father yuren yuren mostaya yuren yuren mana no shana na kabala diye to mana menata imana giya non zemele ta asos dot magnify the Lord renene salia te kamale shana na manata Emene tezi ne mene kamina ne shola nata emene kaya nato emene kaya nando zeleniya te ya ono mono jene mene taya no one can be compared with you uh. no one can be compared with you uh. no one can be compared with you uh. you are the god of all flesh um. you are the father of all spirits uh. no one can be compared with you uh. no one can be compared with you uh. you are you are god all by yourself uh. you reign on high you reign in majesty uh. you reign you reign you reign you reign you reign uh. you reign you reign you reign shananana you are seated on the throne manana de shalada da de kabala de yada you are seated on the throne manana de ashadana na na you are seated on the throne manana de shadada da kabila de zebelania oh Memenia, Jebe de Belletia, Gabelletia, Belenia, Nama Mamma Mania, Rada de Belenica, Nanania, Leda de Nemo, Genemene Macaya de Belletta, O no morum de Nandia, Shada Mamatias, of Enemeni, Combi de Vica Belletta, In the Ne, Janaka Dies, de Benividi, Kibidi Vendelicu Ziviliate, In Memenu, Shanane, Cabala, Tolomenia, Jada Bacayata, O Mene Cayada. O mene kaya da ya baku te mene kaya da non se ne mene kia don se bende kia don se le te ha mele ne jana na te le kombre di ya si ne ne ya kaya ne ya da da ma ya. You dwell in the midst of the light. You dwell in the midst of the cherubims. You dwell in the midst of the light. There is no variability in you. There is no shadow in your turning. Ah, you dwell in the midst of the light. Ah, you are the bishop of our souls. Ah, you are the high priest of our confession. Ah, you are the high priest of our profession. Ah, O kabele te te ne makaya da da. We worship you, Jesus. We bless your name on high. 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 Kai jodo baba baka yata. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Now the scripture I was talking about can be found in the book of um Ezekiel chapter thirty seven. You know um this was um the the scripture he quoted um talking about Reverend Sam Oye in Apostle Joshua Sermon's birthday broadcast. And you know that you know resonated with my spirit. So um, Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven from verse one. The scripture says, "The hand of the Lord was upon me, and He brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of bones. So there was activity in that valley." The valley was not empty. It was not an empty space. It was filled with bones. But the next verse tells us something powerful. It says, he, he caused me to pass all around them. And behold, there were very many human bones in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. So, even though this valley was not devoid of bones, even though it was not devoid of um of uh, of um what's it called now of activities, but the scripture says that the bones were very dry. And what this means is that, regardless of the number of the bones, there was no life in that valley. So, and the. Spirit of the Lord began to minister to me that for some persons, there are a lot of things you are doing. It's not as though you are, you, your, your space is empty. You are doing the best you know how to do, but yet the bones are dry. 
so it's not the case of lack of activity it's not the case of lack of skill for example if it's in the area of finances it's not the in the in the in the case of um lack of wisdom as it were maybe in your marriage in your career in your relationship whatsoever your value um, represents to you so it's not the case of emptiness of the valley it's the case of lack of life in the things happening in the valley so there were many bones in the valley so there are many things you are involved in but yet there is no productivity through them so he said the bones were very dry verse 3 and he said to me son of man can these bones live and i answered oh lord god you know verse 4 in response to the response of ezekiel god you know began to say and again he said to me prophesy to these bones and say to them to them so in essence god was saying you know you have said that i am the one that no now i'm telling you that there is a possibility that the bones will live again do you understand so he was saying that these bones are going to come alive by prophecy and that's essentially what we are going to be doing tonight so regardless of the number of bones you have in your valley we are going to be speaking over them tonight according to the word of the lord he said ayagabadadaha shetene maman den suse fradabaha eledon shakabalan terru prene mamamakayan den zole pragataha he says in verse 4 prophesy to these bones and say to them o dry bones hear the word of the lord thus saith the lord god to these bones so if it is the word of it is god speaking to the bones if it is god speaking to those activities in as much as you know is through you but you must you know as you speak in your consciousness you must know that it is god speaking to the bones through you do you understand so the bones must respond so you speak with that confidence you speak with that assurance that this is the voice of the lord he said the voice of the lord is upon many waters the voice of the lord you know break the cedars yeah the cedars of lebanon there is no no there, there there is no situation that cannot respond to the voice of god so he says thus says the lord god to these bones behold I will make breath enter into you so that you may come to life. And that's our first prayer point. That those activities that you've been engaged in, those things that you've been doing, you've not been, you've not been lazy. Yes, you've not been, uh, 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 your valley has not been empty, but there has been no productivity. So begin to speak to those activities and speak life into them. Do you understand that this is what God is saying tonight? That the bones will live again. I am commanding life into them. So just go ahead and begin to speak life into everything that you are doing that is not productive. Oh, it may, it may, it may look productive, but that may not be the full stature that God wants you to attain. So in your mind, oh, this thing is productive, but in the heart of God, it is not where it is meant to be. It is, it has not attained the full stature he has not attained the full productivity so can you begin to speak uh, into your life into the diverse areas diverse activities and say hear the word of the lord uh, life comes into you now uh, in the name of jesus and uh, every deadness uh, come alive uh, in the name of jesus uh, let everything come together uh, they'll be scattered uh, they'll be scattered uh, and unproductive but let them begin to come come together come together bone to bone he says and i've said prophesied unto them they came together bone to bone can you say let there be a coming together in the name of jesus let soon take a baba let so take i the baba and the guy don't see the guy my days in the guy and the man when they say rock up and the atos in the guy let them come together man 
Alton Sabaha, Reska Papa Lateko, and Debeneka, Reska Baba. Let them come together. Let life enter them now. In the name of Jesus, is it in your career? Is it in your business? In your skills? In your relationship? In your marriage? Akaba Sonomate, Reska Peka Balata, El Tede Bakaba, as regards children, Resoto Bena, Lescoba, Letesa, Life comes. Elequasco Parante, Reco Papa, you have come tonight to engage her, but the dancer, you have come tonight to enforce some things. Eko barata, let us uh, do not be silent tonight. Uh, Raka baba kadi ha, meten dance ha. Reska baba lakwa ne hande. Jeko peleto gobre kada ha. Raske tobe ha, ele domo shada ba. Resaido baba ba ha. Let there be a coming together. In your valley and they come in alive now in the name of Jesus according to the word of the Lord life enters them life enters them life enters them productivity enters them Kayada baba na kayada balata kadash zenene man te kayada da mina kayada ba kayada da mana de da ba kayada da ele bele non oh are you calling them by name are you calling them by name yeah, are you calling them by name? Are you calling them by name? Call them by name and speak to them. Life enters you. I command the four winds of the earth to blow her in the name of Jesus. Breath enters into you now. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> we will still pray. But the second um, um, thing I saw as I was reading through this scripture um, is about restoration. Now, look at this verse. The next verse, verse 6, it says, I will put sinews on you, make flesh grow back on you, make flesh grow back on you, make flesh grow back on you. So it's as though there was flesh there run before and something happened and the flesh was lost and the bones became dry so god is saying that i am going to bring restoration i'm going to the flesh that was there before i'm going to cause it to grow back on you so are there things that it's as though you've lost some things were productive before some things were thriving in your life before some things were thriving in your space before but all of a sudden it seems as though there was a deadness it seems as though something happened and and they they they, they, they all died it's as though your relationship was was thriving but something happened it died your marriage thriving something happened it died your business thriving something happened it went down god is saying i'm going to cause flesh to grow back on them and that's the next prayer point it says there there needs to be a man that will cry restore that will cry restore that will cry restore and you are that man and what i want you to do is to cry restore over the the circumstances in your life that it seems as though they have died they were alive and doing well before but now they are there you don't even understand what is happening you cannot put together what is happening can you begin to declare over them according to the word of the lord according to makwas esudekaya madei sekwana he says what is that mountain he says before zerubbabel thou shall become a plain what is that situation that has died before your very face the will rise again they will rise again and out of the valley of dry bones emerges an exceeding great army can you begin to declare restoration comes in the name of jesus in your marriage restoration comes in the works of your hands restoration comes in a bando it seems as though your hair has been shaped the hair they grow back again Oh, Zeka Babaka, Elenton Skabena, Reska Baba Baba Baba, Elekwam Baba, Beredon Sabaha, Mamam Baba Baba, Zeko Pakwa. 
your cup was filled before but now it is empty your cup was full before now it is empty can you say lord feel afresh feel afresh feel afresh feel afresh feel afresh Malantos Sanaka Elequada Bana Balantos Cabelete Aquantes Cobrandene Latenaba. He says, and I will restore the years that the canker worms are, the pama worms are, the locust, the caterpillars, the years that they have devoured. I will restore unto you a bad on Z. They are the good and what in this a belequa adante recopa galataya. And when it comes to restoration, God does not just restore to the former state, he restores to a better state. He says, and if the tea be caught, he will restore seven folds without which he has stolen. Babande, la don sanane, rata bababande sonomaka, belekwa sonomaka. Shaka pakata belekonsa baraska pela mambenden skabalata ya breden skababa balata ya elekwante skababa mamam bababa bababa kaya beleten kababa bakana ba balata skabalata. The Lord is sending fire into the camp of the enemy. Rekababa elenosha barasa naba elekwante skabana na enebene mamba bababa kaya the things he has stolen. Rekababa beleko. There is restoration. Balasun sega balakada. Na 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 ma 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 ma. Oh jana na le de bonga ya su sega beneha. Ma ye je non de gai dombre Thailand don zize dombre tia va. Je ne ninzo no ma kwan de vele teke no mon vele taya. Oh je ne manande ha. Oh kopele para na mahazi. Eka ba 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 ha. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Now you are there. The Lord is saying that um, He is using the, the the story of Samson to um, paint something similar happening to someone out there. So um, you are. Uh, uh, there was an anointing on you in the past, but it's as though you are no longer functioning in that realm that you used to function before. The Lord is saying that there is a possibility of your hair growing back again. And the instruction of the Lord is simple. He wants you to take out some time, separate some time to Him. So He's saying a three day um, fasting and prayer that you in, 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 interact with Him, that you give time and attention to him in fasting and in prayer and the lord is saying there will be a restoration of the hair that you have lost ah uh, yeah yes and the scripture says that when the hair of samson began to grow back he said that he slew much more philistines at in his death that means that the latter anointing did more than the former state so god is saying that as you separate and dedicate time to him that he's going to restore you into a higher calling into a higher anointing as it were do you understand so he's saying take out that time and be with me and i will bring restoration to your hair can you just go ahead and begin to thank the lord for tonight begin to thank the lord as usual as i would always say you know that the video is ending now does not mean you should stop praying if the holy ghost is still leading you to pray keep on interceding you are praying for yourself keep on interceding till he releases you so just go ahead and begin to worship the lord for tonight father lord we thank you we thank you we thank you shanaman we give you the praise we give you the glory father we give you all honor, we give you all adoration for the things you have done, for the things you are doing, for the things you will do. Lord, we understand that when we pray according to your will, that you hear and if you hear, you answer, you respond because we have gathered unto him that answers prayer. We do not gather unto a God that is deaf. We do not gather unto a God that does not respond, that does not answer prayers. We 
gather unto him that answers prayer. He says to him that answers prayer, all flesh gather. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Be thou exalted, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining tonight. You know, this is a weekly prayer every Saturday, 10 p.m. GMT plus one. We are live and we are praying. And if this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. Do where to subscribe to this channel and do where to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we go live. And if you have enjoyed this prayer time, do where to give this video a thumbs up and to um, make comments in the comment section, you know, as usual. As you may know, what this does is that it um, shoots up the algorithm of the video so that, you know, other persons can, you know, see the video and, you know, partake in this blessing that the Lord has blessed us with tonight. So thank you very much and do have a wonderful night rest. Bye. Mm -hmm.